Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. So today was one of those days that honestly I wasn't going to vlog. The reason why I wasn't going to vlog today is because I'm not exactly doing anything spontaneous and I'm not exactly doing anything that is just, that's just super awesome and super out of the ordinary. However, I should still vlog. Because the thing about making a daily vlog is it's not about doing something super awesome and super crazy and super ordinary. It's about just doing something. It's about making a video. That's what it's about. But I feel in the past like six months, I haven't made daily videos. Like there has been weeks where I've made daily videos and there has been weeks where I've made no videos. And I want to change that. And I feel that one reason, I feel that one I feel that the biggest thing that has changed my vlogging schedule is pressure from other people. As a vlogger, when I first started vlogging, I wasn't really around a lot of people. I didn't have a lot of people in my social circle, especially living in San Francisco full time. And then traveling, you know, all of last year, 2018, I, once again, I didn't have a lot of people in my social circle, so it's really easy to vlog. It's really easy to stare into a camera and express myself every day. But I started to run into problems after I got back from South Africa in November, well, December 2018. And I, I kind of ran into a couple of problems because I made this video talking about my hometown and I made this video just talking about a couple things about my hometown and everything was completely true. And then I get this phone call from my mom like two days later and my mom watched the video and she read the comments and she was like really disappointed in me. and. I can't remember the last time my mom ever called me and told me that she was disappointed at me, so that was like a super low blow. So that kind of made me feel different about vlogging. And then honestly, I just started hanging out with other Bay Area electric skateboarders and I totally understand where they come from because honestly, whenever I upload any video of me electric skateboarding, the AdSense is like, it's like less than a dollar. And this is for the US views. <laughs> So if, if you're viewing from outside the U.S., it's like 10 cents per thousand views. Basically, electric skateboarding videos are not profitable at all, and I'm totally aware of that. But I was hanging out with some other electric skateboarders, and they were telling me, Oh, vlogging's dead, Jermaine. I can't believe you still vlog every day. I can't believe you still make videos. Vlogging's dead. So I had my mom calling me out from a video that I made talking about my hometown and everything I said in that video was completely true. Then I have other electric skateboarders calling me out saying that vlogging is dead, like you must be a loser because you still make vlogs and you make no money because we've made electric skateboarding vlogs and we make no money and I totally agree with that. I make electric skateboarding vlogs and I make no money, but other videos I make, I make hella money off of those other videos, not necessarily electric skateboarding videos. You guys get what I'm saying, you get where I'm going here. But basically, this has been my vlogging thing, and I really haven't been vlogging that much recently, and it's because of these two things. Like, I feel very negative about vlogging, like Casey Nasdaq has stepped down from vlogging. Casey Nasdaq has actually stepped down from, like, social media now. And I felt a lot of pressure from other people, and I'm just not going to worry about that pressure from other people. Today, I'm going to do freaking absolutely nothing today, and I'm still going to make a freaking vlog, and you know what? It's still going to be entertaining, and people are still going to watch it. People are still going to hit that thumbs up button. People are probably still going to hit the dislike button. People are probably still going to put stuff in the comments, and you know what? I'm not going to trip. I'm going to get back on my flow, yo, because I need to get back to making daily videos. I need to get back to talking to this camera every day because I'm having a blast right now, and I want to share this experience with you guys so you guys can have a blast so I can inspire people like you to travel so I can inspire people like you to step outside of your boundaries so I can inspire people like you to go bigger and better and farther than you ever dreamed of yes yo let's get this video started okay my life as a travel vlogger got the computer out and yes I am having a beer but still got the computer out transferring files to my phone to shrink the files because I can shrink the files faster on my phone than I can the computer but then I also need to do something on the computer meanwhile while I'm shrinking those files and I am all just hanging out all alone just having a blast living the life the YouTube travel vlogger the, the, the YouTube travel vlogger life yeah 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 you guys get where I'm going here 
Darren, check out this Olympic size pool right here. Just right here in the middle of the action. Check it out, there goes another car wash. I believe I showed these off in yesterday's vlog. You can always tell by the water tank, the this green water tank. These water tanks are much smaller. There's another water tank, this gray one here. But I see very nice cars over here. There's a, like a BMW, like um, 7 Series, the black one there, and there's like BMW 3 Series, and there's like a Mercedes over there, and there's like a Lexus, and yeah, lots of nice cars. I guess this is the option for washing your car around here. I guess there's not a lot of official car washes in this part of the world. Sure is a gorgeous day. A little bit later now and oh my gosh, it is so freaking hot outside. I've I've never had such such an appreciation for air conditioning ever in my life. This um the past couple days I've been staying at this Airbnb and there is no air conditioning at all. And that's not the end of the world. But it definitely takes a minute to get used to. This is day I don't know, day three or something like that, so I'm getting used to the hang of no AC, so this is pretty much how I'm coping with the no AC. I'll show you guys right now. So right now, there's like clouds over the sun, so I'm getting a nice break. So I got the, the window open, I got the fan on blowing air from outside, I got this towel over the window so it lets less sunlight inside here to heat up the place. I have the computer over here and also the phone over here. The computer is propped up so that the air can go underneath the computer to cool the computer so the computer won't explode because it's so hot in here. Same thing with the phone. I took the phone out of the case so air could cool the phone off so the phone wouldn't explode and blow up because it's so wicked hot inside of here. So this is the living room here. I have this window open. I also have this door open. I also have this fan pushing air from the kitchen through the outside of the house so it can help cool the place off. And over in here, I have this window open, this window open. The kitchen is actually really, really cool. There's lots of shade on this side of the house, so it's not that bad, but it's still warm, yo. Hot, 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 hot. And outside right now, oh, the temperature has definitely cooled off. This has been the coolest day since I've been here. Wow, the temperature feels amazing out right now. I just hope these clouds just stay over the sun as the sun sets. But the sun still has a long way to set, so I don't know if those clouds are still going to be around when it's still gonna be around make sure you don't touch your electric fence i touched like this part of the fence like yesterday like like one of, like this part right here and it like i felt like a shock so this electric fence is like for real yo it's like for real yeah what another day what a long day what an adventure yeah huh Guys, I really want to know some feedback about, you know, my whole vlogs because for the past couple of months it has been, it's been bothering me ever since I left South Africa the last time I was in South Africa and this was like December of 2018, like I've, like since December 2018 through now, which is, um, what, almost April, like it's been like, like I've just been kind of stuck, I've been in limbo, I've been on the fence. But I think like right now I need to just like slap myself in the face, slap myself in the face or punch myself in the face and just get back in the game and get back in the swing of things because I feel that like I should just be vlogging and I, 
you know, so what if I'm not doing something, excriving it every single day? I can still share things with you guys. Just like today, I haven't did anything excriving it. I haven't went anywhere. I haven't went to any really awesome restaurants. I haven't got on a flight. I haven't went to any new countries. But guess what? I still did some pretty cool things today. I've kind of roamed around this area across the street, which is kind of like a whole no man's land. You know what this area reminds me of? Like in my hometown, Memphis, there's this whole area near the airport where like the airport bought like all these houses and like just got people to move because they didn't want to disturb the people living nearby the airport because the planes make so much noise. This is kind of what that area reminds me of. Yeah. But anyway... <laughs> Right now, I'm so thankful for this weather. I am so thankful for this weather. I'm so thankful that it's so cooled off. I feel so amazing out right now. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.